John Bennett with Logic Pro X, and I just got done making a basic mix for one of my clients here, and I thought you guys might want to kind of listen to a couple of things I did. When I'm mixing for clients, uh, we have different packages. This is our clean package. It's very, not a very elaborate mix, but I thought I'd break down a couple of the transitions for you so you could kind of see what I was doing. And again, this is cheerleading music, but it can apply to, you know, remixes or anything else. So I'm just going to let it play for a bit, and then, um, you know, we'll go go in and kind of take a look at what's going on start to get in i need your love i need your time when everything's wrong you make it right i feel so high i come alive i need to be free with you tonight So that's the first track and then the second track goes like this. I just put them on the same thing. In this particular mix, there's two different tracks that they're going to use for their squad. <laughs> So that, that's what we got there. Nothing too amazing. I think it flows pretty good. I just kind of break down a couple things, and this is just my preference, but you'll notice that my mixes start at the top left, and I just build it down and just kind of work it that way. So um, elements that we have here, obviously, you know, if you're not doing cheer, cheer remixes, a lot of these sound effects and stuff, you know, probably sound weird to you and whatnot. But that's very common in cheer mixes. So, but things, you know, I've kind of built a library of different um, build build up beats and things like that. So, um, you obviously you got your song, and in other videos I've showed you how to make sure your tempo matches your grid here. So this is the first song that we have here. I need your, I need your love. I need your time. When everything's wrong, you make it right. So the mix starts on a five. It, like an intro, it builds it, with a ding and it kind of builds right in. I need your love. I need Symbol crash here. Then it's got this, um, you know, wind up per percussion kind of build here. You know, and I have these types of builds just kind of vary them out all the way throughout. And I got another build underneath that. Pay, paying careful attention to volumes I'm always tweet I pull a lot of the stuff underneath the song way down so they're just kind of background you know um, this transition is slightly interesting uh, so you can kind of see the two songs blending the two songs together so we got the I need your love kind of finishing the verse or the chorus or whatever here Tonight. And um, Nicki Minaj pound the alarm coming in. And you put them together and it kind of flows. So it's really cool. Some of the beats that are in the new Logic Pro X are kind of nice and I just threw a couple of these in here you can see hear this one it's a pretty nice little beat and then this hammer kick beat I like a lot actually 
Now you'll notice here, you know, oftentimes I'll take a beat and I'm mostly looking to take the kick and just, you know, add some variety. So I, this is the beat. I chopped the one, the first beat out of it. Then I just chopped it up smaller and smaller to get this little roll up effect. You know, and it sounds pretty good. And then midnight beat kind of goes right in. I can't stand it when I hear a remix and it's the same backbeat the whole time. You know, it just drives me nuts. But anyway. And again, I did the similar thing right here. Okay. So. And of course, you got the voiceover, and that's something that you probably won't be doing a lot of. But anyway, and then the second track. And again, I took that midnight beat again, and then I just, you know, kind of laid it in the way I thought it would sound good. Right. So you can see this one muted out. This is my first failed attempt at, you know, bringing this other song in. If you want to hear what it is, I was trying to do this, trying to bring a different part of the song. It just wasn't working for me. It just didn't seem to have as much energy, in, in my opinion, as this part of the song, so I just went with it. Again, nothing super fancy, but you know, it it sounds good. It's the songs that the client wanted mixed in a way that I think will work well for him. Here's a little bonus um, tip that I actually discovered it last year. I'd never done it before, but I really like it. This plugin um, called Delay Designer, and it, it's it's wild. You know, a lot of times I'll use the Echo, um, the Echo plugin, which is cool, but if you wanna get a really neat effect, you can do something like this. And if you go into here, this one is called Ease Out, but you've got all these different that you can play around with and literally just go through and keep it on loop and um, find one you like. Now this one gets really strong at the end. So what I do to kind of fade it out is just hit A, go to automation. You can see I faded this out. If I unfade it, listen to the how, listen how crazy this is. too overwhelming so I just pull it pull this down right so anyway hope you enjoyed that and for the VIP members I'm gonna go into a lot more detail and I'm probably gonna be posting actually putting my entire project some of my some projects in there as samples for you guys to get your hands on and like really play around with um, I know when I first started the only way I could really learn is to actually take somebody's project and look at how they did it and try to recreate it. It was super helpful for me. So if you're interested in that, um, please let me know. Um, and if you know, you guys want, I, I'll post some stuff in the VIP. And if you haven't signed up for the free members area on our site, go ahead and do that. There's a bunch of good free videos there. And of course, there'll be some here on YouTube as well. All right. We'll see you in the next video.